FPL prepares for storm season year round. Every day that we're not in a storm, we're preparing for one. And our entire company really mobilizes around storm and other emergency events to ensure that we're ready to respond to our customers. Um, so FPL has done a number of investments uh, since 2006, which was right after the 2004-2005 hurricane season, which was a, a brutal one. Uh, we had a lot of large storms that impacted our service and our ability to provide service to our customers. So since then, we've done a number of significant investments to harden our system. And what that means is we have hardened our poles that help deliver power, our lines. We've replaced wooden poles with concrete poles to make our system stronger. We've shortened the span between pole and pole to just, again, strengthen the system. Uh, clearing vegetation is also a huge part of the way we prepare. We clear more than 25,000 miles of vegetation every year from our lines. We live in Florida, so it's very lush. We have a lot of rain, so vegetation grows quickly. And it's actually one of the main reasons for power outages. So we do a lot of work around, um, you know, trimming trees and vegetation so that they don't interfere with our power lines. And uh, technology. Technology is really one of the biggest ways that we are now preparing for hurricane and quite frankly, every day as we provide service to our customers. Uh, we have drones that help inspect our power lines. Uh, we're able to use infrared technology to determine if our equipment is having issues. And all of that helps us respond to our customers faster, determine if there are issues on our lines or on our equipment faster. And all that, of course, improves the reliability that we provide our customers. Now is the time to really discuss these plans with family. If you're in an evacuation area, make sure that you know evacuation routes. Um, make sure that you're prepared at home and have plenty of water, food, flashlights, batteries, all the things that you may need in case of a power outage. Uh, I do want to remind them, however, that thanks to FPL's system of smart meters, we know when our customers are out of power. So there's no need to call us. In fact, you know, we want to keep those lines open only for sort of emergency type situations. So after a storm, it's just as important to keep safety top of mind um, when it comes to electrical. So if you see an electrical line that is down, always assume that it's charged and stay far away from it. You can report it to 911 or to FPL so that we can, you know, go out there and make repairs. But we do urge you not to come close to the line. Uh, in addition, don't um, venture into standing water. There may be lines that are concealed by the water that you may not see. And that may be a situation, you know, that's dangerous as well. And certainly if there are power interruptions that affect streetlights, Drive carefully. Treat every um, streetlight as a four-way stop if it's not working and, and be careful. And if there isn't a need for you to leave your home, um, then don't, you know, stay put. It's important that we keep safety top of mind before, during, and after storms. Um, FPL has also invested in an underground storm protection program. It's essentially putting electric lines underground, which helps with reliability because there is no vegetation that comes in contact with them. And we've done more than 600 of these projects across the state. In Miami-Dade specifically, we are planning to do more than 80 this year. And those are wonderful pilot projects that allow us to, you know, underground the lines and improve reliability for our customers. So the message is to prepare, prepare, and prepare.